uh, it's because I'm, I'm people know me as sort of a, a soul artist. They know me to be doing like soul, uh, love music. You know what I mean? Um, and my music is very mid-tempo to slow. They've never, they've, and I'm always singing harmonies and all that kind of stuff. And I'm coming with an album where, on the one side, I'm just rapping, and on the other side, it's, it's just house music, which is very fast-paced dance music. And it's, um, I've never released any this kind of music before, uh, but I, I come in with a lot of confidence because uh, my audience asked me to do it. So I'm unapologetic about coming into these different spaces. Also because I am not just one thing, you know what I mean? I'm not just, I'm a poet, I'm an MC, I'm a writer, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an actor, um, I do house music, I do gospel music, I do, I do jazz, I do whatever at the moment needs me to do. Uh, so I'm unapologetic about being this multifaceted artist and I don't think people should, should fear the idea of being more than one thing. Zano, Chiwe, Zion, um, Monera, Donald, Knack Music, and Pumi. We're all eight of us on one song. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I like to explain the fact that I wasn't scared of of touching different elements. I mean, I I've been doing hip hop. I've been I've been a fan of hip hop for 28 years. So I've got a lot of influence in my head. Uh, from the roots to Rakim to Karras, but also been very influenced by Snoop and the G Funk era, all the way now to Kendrick and J Cole and Drake. And I'm not I'm not scared to to have all those influences coming to my music. So when I was making the music, I wasn't particular about okay, I don't want to to trap or I don't want to do pump bap or I don't want to do whatever. I just wanted to make great songs and whatever at the moment in the moment came, we just made it, you know what I mean? So some songs have like an element of trap and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's actually Moraka featuring the little man. You like it? So I want to say a quick story about how I named the song and how I came up with the hook for it. It's because my aunt was speaking about the character that Silo Maga Nua plays on the Queen. So you know like he plays like a gay man on the Queen. And she referred to him as Achimuraka Sele Mutomo Adaranke to the Queen. So in the mind, I was like, like she doesn't see Brazil law as anything but Achimurok. And how long has it been since Brazil law played Achimurok? Like maybe 20 years, right? And people still see him as Achimurok. And I'm like, it doesn't get more legendary than that. And that's how I came up with this title. I think all of them, but for sentimental reasons, like when you have someone like Brahu on your record, you know what I mean? Like, um, Brahu is a, is a huge icon. And for me to be able to call Brahu and say, Brahu, can you come and do this record on me on my album? And he actually comes and he does it. Or someone like Judith Supuma who comes and do, does a record like that. It, it doesn't mean they're more special than the young artists, but for me, to have heroes come and, and feature on your album is a big deal. So I would definitely say having Huma Sakela and Judas Puma on my album is a big deal. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. So the, the, the idea behind it is that uh, both, um, I mean, all three of us, uh, Questa, Reason, and, and myself are from the East Rand. Uh, they're specifically from Atogawas and I'm from a David Trump. So we wanted to do a song just to celebrate where we're from uh, in the East Rand. Uh, I specifically do the last verse, and the last two lines on, my, on the verse, I say, uh, We lost one. Because 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 we lost one. So if we listen to the verses, we speak about the different characteristics of the township we're from. And I think it's, it's important to celebrate where you're from. Uh, and I love, I love the fact that I'm from David Chain and I'm here today. Uh, yeah, you like this song? I love music, man. I think I think we spend so much time putting things into boxes and genres. You don't allow yourself to to open up, you know. For a long time, I always thought I didn't like house music. And um, a good friend of mine, um, uh, who passed away, who used to be a music compiler, DJ Monde uh, at YFM, uh, one day says, "You always speak about how 
house music like this and like this and he was playing me some house music from like from London, house music from Jamaica, house music from different parts of the world and uh, it, it just blew my mind how much there's so much musicality in, in some of the, the house music that's out there and from that day on I decided that I will not trap myself into saying I only listen to this kind of music or I only make this kind of music. I love all kinds of music like who knows next album could could be a jazz album or could be anything else as long as it's good and people believe that it was made authentically then i'm happy to make it the album is already out on itunes people can get it we are on the shelves um on the 7th uh of, the 7th of september uh we are in all the major stores we are in all, every major stores you can buy it from me and my i've got them in my boot at the gigs uh my mother's selling them in a the house my sister is selling them at a job. I'm kidding, but you can, literally it's everywhere. Like we're really trying to, to go big with it. Uh, most retail stores already bought a, a bunch of it. We want people to go out and buy a, lots of it so we can keep restocking. Uh, I'm very confident that it's got a good balance of radio friendly music and very personal music. So there's no reason for it to not to be a big album. And literally you get, you get two albums in one. Like what more would you want? You know what I mean? What's good my people? My name is Gabo Omo and you are tuned into Zakipani TV.